Okay, let's start. So, hi everyone, my name is Polo. I'm from University of Mogollon. Today, I'm happy to share my work like of SDG, Session Data Generation for Conversational Search. And our work is about conversational search. The traditional search engine, for example, the Google and the Bing here can only provide single-term query, but in real world scenario, people would like to have complex information needs, which cannot be satisfied by only single round search. But conversational search engines can enable a dynamic and multi-turn interaction between the user and the system. It's used to enhance the system's ability to understand and respond to the user's specific needs. And the, mo and the mode of the search goes beyond simple query response mechanics, allowing for a nuanced dialogue that can evolve based on user's response and follow-up questions. Recently, this has been a notable advancement in real-world applications of conversational search technology. For example, we can see being the new being here. It's an, <clears throat> we can see that a user might initially search for information about where is New York City, and as the conversation progresses, the user can talk about a variety of topics related to the city from exploring the recommendations for re local restaurants to its historical background. Though we know uh, that the conversational search can satisfy the need of the user, we also have our own problems. We don't have enough training data to fine tune a conversational dance retriever, but Generating more training sessions with relevant labels can improve search performance. And how to, how to do it, this is a question, but it used to be complicated. But now the answer is pretty simple. The text generated LLM. LLM can simulate diverse and complex dialogues, generating the new rich datasets necessary for training purposes. So in this paper, we aim to use the generation of LLM to produce pursuit of conversational session for data augmentation. Uh, the, proposed, the proposed method including three parts as shown in the figure. We first designed two prompts for dialogue level and query level generation. Then we pr produce supervision signals, which is shown here and here, which are based on the pursuit of relevant feedback and existing annotation for this two level generation. Finally, we perform conversational dance retrieval here, fine tuning here with the generated data with supervised and semi-supervised training. Basically, in this paper, we have two questions to ask. The first question is, can we automatically generate session data for conversational search models and still get as good or better results compared to using manually constructed data? And the second question is, can we make conversational search better by changing the queries a bit and using existing annotations to add more variety to the queries? To go into detail of the model, we can see the two examples for different level of generation. One is dialogue level and one is query level. The dialogue level generation can directly generate the whole conversational session, which can make sure the consistency and the consistency and transition and the query level is to rewrite the existing query in the data set into another expression, but with the same meaning. So how is it exactly used in our model? We can see <clears throat> for dialogue level generation, it's an unsupervised task as we don't have any relevance judgment in the data set as the whole conversation is generated from only topics. So we choose to direct the generation by pursuit of relevance feedback which is the top five results returned by initial search query and which are relevant. And the PRF method is not the single fixed method for this purpose. And we can leave further exploration of this area for further research. <clears throat> and for query level generation, it's a semi-supervised task as the relevance judgment for each term can be reused. As it's rewritten from the original data set, the original annotations can be used as a signal towards generation. It's easier than a dialogue level generation. And for the conversational dance retrieval, we employ a widely used ad hoc research retriever, ANCE. We use it as both query and passage encoder. 
And in this process, we consider all preceding queries within the same session to reformulate the current query by concatenation. It's shown here. And then we can calculate the similarity function as shown here. And during the training phase, we only update the query encoder. ANC will update its embedding by focusing on improving the distinction between the most relevant document, which is the positive document here, and less relevant documents, which is the negatives here. <clears throat> so let's move on to the experimental settings of the, of the model. The most important generation session is based on ChatGPT, and we conduct in experiments on four widely used conversational search data sets, CAS 19, uh, 20, and 21, and the Tobio Secure data sets. The baseline is shown here. Besides that, we ha also have a conversational dense retriever fine tunes ANC with the original non augmented conversational search data. We use it as the baseline of our methods to see the impact of data augmentation. And for the evaluation matrix, we use these three matrix to evaluate the results. <laughs> and for the results, we can see in the absence of relevance judgments with dialogue -like augmentation, which is shown in the upper part, uh, with unsupervised training, it outperforms the compared methods across most evaluation metrics for both data sets. And when considering the scenario with query level augmentation in the training data, uh, come SDG can continue to outperform the compared methods across most evaluation metrics with the same training samples on manual data sets. But uh, however, compared to the dialogue level come SDG without relevance judgment, come SDG with query level augmentation, which is shown here, is not more effective even it uses human relevance judgments. The result might suggest that there's still room for improvement in system performance by fully harnessing the existing relevance annotations and enhancing the diversity of the conversational sessions. And we can see the performance here. And it's important to see that methods we compare don't work as well on the Tougher cast 21 datasets. This could be because the method rely on queries were written by people, and our generated queries for the session might not match this original notations exactly. And for other results, we also evaluated the effectiveness of the supervision signals. We have four forms of queries tested for off-the-shelf retrieval used in PRF because the original queries in a conversational session are not standalone and always rely on the context of the ongoing conversation as it's in a conversational search. In this form, Q plus A is the concatenation of the current query and generated answer, and plus topic is plus topic information. Come Q plus topic is the concatenation of the current query. All previous queries and the topic <clears throat> Come Q plus come A plus topic is combination of current query, all purist queries, and the answers and the topic. And from the results, we can see Q plus A plus topic is the best combination, which indicates that ad hoc research retrievers lack the capability to represent an entire conversation session. And the underlying search intent with the current term query is context dependent. We can also see that the inclusion of topic information is very beneficial. The topic information will help the generation process of augmented data to produce more relevant and topic related data. And we also evaluated the effectiveness, effectiveness of generated data set. We tried to employ different sizes of generated data for conversational dense retrieval fine tuning in two different scenarios across three cast data sets. And from the figure, we can see in unsupervised session, we can see improvement in system, uh, system performance as the volume of utilized data increases. And in semi-supervised session, we can see the performance drop in 20% compared to models trained solely on original trained data sets. It's shown here. And from this, we can see the important role of augmented data in mit mitigating the lack of data issue, but the generated data points might change the original data distribution, and it implies the need for appropriate filtering mechanisms for the 
new augmented data. <clears throat> and after these experiments, we can see that in this world, we propose come SDG to generate conversational session data in two levels based on LLN with the pursuit of relevant feedback and existing annotation for signals. And strong performance in four data sets with different training settings definitely can show the effectiveness of the system. Uh, that's all my presentation. Thank you for listening. And sorry for the techni technical issue caused. And if you have more questions, please feel free to ask.